Growing up in Souk, obviously, it's, it's a pretty small town, not many, not many people. You know, my love for hockey really started when my dad pull, started pulling me out of school during lunches, to go out on the ice. I remember the first few sessions on the ice. He actually didn't like it that much. <laughs> a lot of falling down, but it didn't take long, you know, uh, to realize that he had a talent for it and a passion for it. When I first moved into the neighborhood, he was constantly uh, playing road hockey. So I just remember him being outside with his dad, Derek, and Derek was always in net playing goalie, and Wyatt uh, was on just playing road hockey with him all the time. I would, you know, shoot tennis balls at him, and he would put on the baseball gloves and the pads. And if he didn't do that for me, you know, who, who knows where I would be? If that, that definitely grew, grew my love for hockey. I got to give Wyatt and his dad, Derek, a lot of credit. As soon as he started playing for the Royals, the moment that happened, uh, Derek came to the Souk executive and asked right away, if he, how, how do we get Wyatt involved in the community? And Wyatt right away was coming out uh, regularly, uh, just sort of, just suddenly just showed up. And it was, it, we didn't ask him to, and he did it on his own. And I, you know, I'm really impressed with him as a, as a young man, uh, giving back full circle. I'm still working on things too, right? Nobody here is perfect. You have little kids coming up to you, giving you fist bumps, asking, asking if you play for the Royals and whatnot. I mean, it's it's when I was their age, that's what I dreamed of, right? I wanted to be that be that guy that could kind of have a mentor and be be their role model. So going onto the ice with them and just kind of kind of showing them a thing or two is a huge huge impact on me. And if it, if it makes them happy, it makes me happy. So I love it. More than that. We look at it as a big responsibility as an organization to to be involved. Um, in grassroots minor hockey programs. These future kids eventually, you know, when they get to see our players, they, they dream of playing for the, the Royals um, or they become fans of the Royals. He loves Souk. He was born and raised there. And when we were living out of town for the last two years, he was, he was looking forward to getting back there and his friends and, and just the town and the arena especially too. So for him to go back and want to go back and help those little kids out, yeah, we're so proud of him for it. I'm in the camp this year. I feel like I really had a good shot at making the team. Um, really, really tried to impress Jeep and, and show him what I, what, I, what I can do. Coming in as a 17-year-old, just kind of knowing my role, knowing where I fit in, and just kind of supporting the guys as best as I can. I mean, he skates well, he knows the game, and uh... He's a, he's a player you can definitely trust. Goes without saying, we're beyond proud to see his hard work and dedication pay off, especially for here in Victoria. So yeah, literally bursting with pride.